everyone. Let yourself come to your mat and choose if you want to sit or lie down. We just want to take that time to orient ourselves to our practice and shift gears. We want this next um, part of time this morning to be really intentional. It's not just about going through the movements, but it's about intentionally watching how the breath moves in our bodies and bringing our focus inward so that we're watching what's going on in our own bodies. We are getting a temperature, a gauge, a witness, bearing witness to everything that's happening today for us. And it just so happens that movement and breath are beautiful ways to um, allow ourselves to tune in. And so you're settling in. If it's comfortable, you're closing your eyes. And you're noticing your breath. Perhaps focusing on your exhale. Just allowing it to expand a little bit longer, a little bit smoother than usual. And then noticing what happens on the inhale that arises after. And today, for those of you who are seated, allow yourself to recline all the way. Once we allow all of us to let the whole back body release down onto the mat, let's draw the right knee into the chest, draping your fingers around the shin. Let's point and flex the toes. Roll the ankle in one direction and then another. Take that foot and stretch it all the way up to the sky. Pull the toes down towards you. Feel the length in the back of that leg. Perhaps you're just going to draw the leg a little bit closer to you. Begin to twist the leg right and left in the sky, rotating the thigh, the femur bone in the hip socket. And then tick tock that foot back and forth. Just noticing if you can keep the whole back body, shoulders, elbows, hips, grounded on the floor as you let that foot move open to the right and across your body to the left. It's not sort of the full opening pose because we don't have a strap today. Lots of us don't have straps. So we're just playing it with a modified version. Come back up to center and let that foot land down on the ground. Draw the left knee into your chest. Mess with your ankle so you're just pointing and flexing the toes. Do some nice rotations there. Notice any sounds or sensations that come from that ankle. Reach the heel all the way up to the sky. Pull the toes down towards you. Just feel the back of that leg. Perhaps drawing the foot in towards you a little bit. And twisting the foot in the sky. Femur bone rotating in the hip socket. Go from that twist motion to a tick tock motion. Allowing the foot to fall open to the left, back up to center, over the body to the right. 
You won't go very far because you're keeping your back body soft. You're keeping your elbows, shoulders, and hips relaxed in the ground. Sweet. And then that foot comes down. Bring the heels right into the bum. Let your hands lift up to the ceiling. Soften the shoulders down to the floor. Wrap hands around elbows and twist. Elbows fall right, knees fall left. Inhale up to center. Elbows fall left, knees fall right. Inhale up to center. Just allow yourself to release into the twist as you exhale and bring everything back up to center as you breathe in. Back up to center. Good. Bring both knees into your chest. Your fingertips can just touch the kneecaps and do some big circles like you're doing um, flutter or not flutter kick, butterfly kick in the water. You're moving the legs like frogs would kick. Sweet. And then let the soles of the feet press together, opening your knees wide, letting the feet drop down to the floor. Just feel that nice opening in through the legs. Breathe. Beautiful. Knees lift up together. Roll yourself up to a seated position. You can take some rocks and rolls. You can move sideways if you like. And once you get into that seated position, just allow yourself to have a nice open leg stance. Toes pull up towards you. Inhale the fingers all the way up to the sky. Exhale them down again. Inhale them up. Exhale them down. We'll add a twist now. Inhale up. Turn the, to the left leg. Fold over the right. Breathe in and come back up to center. Turn to the right. Fold to the left. So just breathe in and then twist and fold as you exhale. Breathe in, twist and fold as you exhale. Yeah. If there's anything going on in your shoulders, you can do the same movement with your hands crossed over your chest or your fingers touching your shoulder caps. You're taking really full breaths, nice long exhales, letting breath stretch into that side body as you go. Nice, coming back up to center, letting the hands down. Slide your heels together, bend those knees, okay? Hit, hands are just dropped on the floor behind me. I'm going to start to just drop into my knees to the right, to the left. Here, my whole hips, my upper body, my spine stay still. I'm just letting the femur bones move in the hips. Good. Let's take it a bit further. So as we drop knees to the right, we actually let the left sit bone lift up. Take it to the left. Take it to the right. Yeah, as far down as it wants to go. There's a little twist happening in the body. Sweet. And then we'll add arms. So when you take those knees to the right, your left hand follows all the way around and stretches back behind you. Lower your chest down toward the floor. Beautiful. Lift all the way up. Sweep the hand back behind you. Draw the knees over the other side. Right arm does a big sweep and stretches back behind you, sliding your chest towards the floor. Big sweep. Hand up, knees crossed to the other side, open left hand. Pressing it, reaching it out behind you. One more time, other side, sweep all the way over, knees come 
and stretch with that hand. Sweet. All the way back up. Sitting tall, lengthening your spine, getting ready for your boat pose. Crown of the head to the sky, shoulders drop down your back. We start with hands behind thighs, leaning back and lifting. Choosing if you'd like to let go. Choosing if you just want to do one heel at a time. We've got so many options here. Just take what works for you. If you're feeling like this isn't, easy, isn't hard enough, start to straighten your legs. Breathe. And then release down. Crisscross those legs. We're going to roll our hands forward right over through to cat and cow pose. Knees underneath hips, hands underneath shoulders. Let's move our spine. Inhale, head lifts, tailbone lifts. Exhale, spine rolls to sky. And then roll through. As you release from this pose, just take your bum down to your right heel, circle it to your left heel, pull back up. Nice, long, round circles. Sinking yourself backwards, sweeping to the opposite side, pulling up. And then change directions. Coming back up to center, walk your hands a little bit further away from you so that the arms are stretched outward. Pull the hips forward and then as you let them sink towards the floor, pull the shoulders away from the ears. Come back up to tabletop, sink the hips down, pull the shoulders away from the ears. Coming back up. Yeah, sink down, shoulders away from ears, back up. Nice work. When you come up this time, separate your knees and touch your toes. Let the bum go all the way backwards. Your head can rest on the floor or you can just release the forehead toward between the elbows. And then just gently press your right armpit down towards the mat. Press the left armpit down towards the mat. Go back and forth, just doing that gentle stretch through the side body, through the joint of the shoulder. From this position, walk your hands over to the left. Bring them back to center and walk your hands over to the right. Coming back to center, grab um, strong palms, come up to hands and knees, curl your toes. You might just want to walk your knees in a little bit under the hips again and get ready for a downward dog. You curl the toes under, lift the knees, press the bum back, release the head, and then start to open the backs of those legs. Super slow paddles. Making sure your breath is big, it's open, it's pressing into all the new corners of your body that are becoming apparent to you. Nice. Gaze up to your thumbs, bend your knees, walk feet forward, and then come to tabletop, release the tabletop, hands to sky, hands to heart. 
Big stretches up, hands to the ceiling. Exhale, fingers come down. If you have blocks, you can always use them in class. If not, just put tent your fingers on the floor. Step back with your right foot. Push through that heel, feel that lunge, and then gently drop the right knee onto the floor. Uncurl those toes. My hands are gonna walk back a little bit, and then just feel like you sink your hips back towards that right heel, pulling the left toes up to the sky. Be really gentle here. You might be skipping this pose if there's anything in that back knee that doesn't like this. And then come up, grounding the left foot, inhaling your hands, perhaps just to the thigh, maybe all the way to the ceiling. Breathe. Sweeping the palms down towards the chest. Allow the right elbow to come over to the left shin, the left thigh, opening up. You can take the alternate pose of hand on the outside. You can choose also if you want the back heel to push away and the knee to lift. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Good options. Gently come down, fingertips on the floor, lift the back knee and step forward with that back foot. Tabletop, fold down, hands to sky. And a big forward fold again. Tent fingers, left foot steps back. Sink down, feel the lunge. Drop the back knee. Just mess around here. Maybe you're going to move the hips towards that back heel, pulling the front toes up. Maybe you'll just ignore this movement if the knee is tender. Coming all the way up, choosing if you will let those hands lift to the thigh or lift to the sky. As you let hands sink to heart, Choosing your twist. So you're either taking left elbow to the right thigh or left wrist to the right thigh. Back hand on the low back, perhaps. Choosing what you do with your back leg. It can stay grounded. It can lift. Good work. Release your hands back down to the floor. If your back knee is not lifted, let it lift now and step forward. Tabletop the body. Exhale, let it release down. Big breath in, hands to sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Nice work. Okay, inhale, hands come all the way up. Exhale, hands drop down to your heart. So let's do some side bending. Hands to the sky. Lean right, coming all the way back up again. Lean left, all the way back up. Breathe, inhale, breathe. Yeah, hands come all the way down. Do a couple sweet shoulder rolls there. And then we'll step back with our right foot. Pressing that heel down into the ground, letting the left knee reach forward. Roll the shoulders down the back. Open your arms up into cactus pose. Pull the shoulder blades away from the spine, hugging the forearms together. Squeeze the shoulder blades to the spine, opening the forearms away from each other. There's your arm movement. When it feels good, Add a knee, sliding the smooth movement through that front leg. Nice. And bring hands to heart. Put all your weight 
shifting it to that front foot, peel off the back heel. You can stay right here. You can come to tippy toes. You can straighten that top leg and then I want you to tick tock. Nice flat back, just dropping that toe down onto the mat, folding yourself as far forward as balance and control permit. Nice. Now taking a step back, bending the front leg, grounding the back foot, hands to sky, warrior one. Releasing them to the heart, hands to heart, stepping forward and we go back with the left. Left heel grounds, right knee drops down, shoulders pull out to the side again. And this time you'll go up. So the shoulder blades are winging open as hands rise. They're sliding back to point to the spine as elbows lower. And you allow yourself to start moving that front knee when you're ready. Nice work. Elbows come down, knee bends, hands to heart. Weight starts to shift to that front leg. Peel the back heel, come onto the tippy toes, feel the front leg take and support you, straighten it. Back toes can stay on the ground. You begin to just tick tock. Toe points and touches, body leans forward, lifting that back heel. You're moving with your own control and balance. Tipping forward only as far as your body gives you permission to go. Coming back. Planting that back foot, bending the front knee all the way to warrior one. Nice. Hands drop back down to center. Let your back foot step forward. Stand in Tadasana for just a moment. Long, steady breath. Noticing the invigoration, how you put movement and breath into the body. We're just creating some airflow, some movement, supporting digestion, fanning the flames of that digestive fire. Soaking up some of the kapha spring uh, wetness that's in the atmosphere right now. Just drying out the channels of the body. Sweet. Inhale, your hands come all the way up to the sky. Exhale for a sweet, deep forward fold. Plant hands and stretch and lengthen the spine. Deep knee bend, plant your hands. Let's go to plank. Reaching one foot then the other back behind you, stretching through the crown of your head. Choosing if your side plank today will be dropping one knee or not. Coming to right leg first, that right knee drops. Left hand comes to the sky. You can keep the legs stacked too if you want. Out beside you. Breathe as you lift through that top hand. Nice work. And then as we exhale, we'll come to the other side. Planting, planking, choosing if you drop the left knee or if you stack the feet. Lifting up, breathing deep. Hands come down, knees come down, back toes curl under, downward dog. Keep your knees generously bent. Find a long straight line from your wrists all the way to your sit bones. Let shoulders pull away from the ears, feeling the neck drop from the spine. And then paddle those heels gently and slowly.
Sweet. We're going to reach the right knee forward to the right wrist and slide that left leg back. So there's a couple of you, you know your poses. You're going to be rolling onto the back body, pulling that knee in this way instead. If you get the knee to the wrist, choose the more weight you keep in the upper body, the less um, body weight presses down through the front knee, ankle, and hip. So you find out what permission your body gives you for every step you take lowering it downward. Even when you get here, assess what kind of work is happening through my elbows, my shoulders, my neck. Maybe those elbows can widen. Maybe they need to stay quite tight. Perhaps his fists can stack and your forehead can rest. Maybe some of you go so low that the forehead just releases to the floor. Whatever you're choosing, breathe into the right hip. Try and take in and relax as much tension out of that hip as you can. As we release tension, body weight will sink in, gravity will take hold. Your body will tell you when tension is necessary to prevent injury. So just pay attention to those subtle, subtle cues. All right. So I'm going to make this complicated for the people on their back. I want you to come to a version of this pose. Everyone's going to walk their hands up. So even if you're on your back, Come to the beginning version of this pose. And then you'll just roll over onto your right bum cheek, sweep the back foot forward, place it at the shin, or if you're flexible, you'll cross it over to the thigh side of that right leg. Lift nice and high, hug the right arm around that left knee, tent the back fingers, sit nice and tall, and twist. Remember that each inhale helps you sit taller. Each exhale slowly releases you into that deeper twist. Breathe. 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 Chin releases first, then shoulders, ribs, belly. Beautiful. We're going to take that left leg, sweep it back behind us again, hands plant, back toes curl under, right leg reaches to join left, downward dog. Again, paddling the heels. Feel the difference between your right leg and your left leg here. You've just allowed blood flow to reach deeply back into that right leg and your body loves it. Notice the sensation. Left knee comes forward to left wrist. Right leg stretches back behind you, rolling onto your back, hugging left knee to chest. If these joints on the front leg don't like this. Breathe. Okay. Every movement forward puts more strain onto those front joints. Go with permission. Noticing the upper body, how much elbow, uh, how much are the elbows supporting the body? Moving as deep into the pose as you get permission to do. But regardless of what you're choosing, soften into the left hip. Breathing and doing your best to release tension and grippiness and bracing in that hip. Sometimes that means you might have to come up a bit further so that that grippiness comes out of the hip. All right, 
If you are on your back, come back and join us in a seated position. Your left foot kind of crossed in. We're gonna roll onto the left bum cheek. Sweep the right leg back and around, placing it at the shin or if flexibility allows, bringing it to the outside of the thigh. Left hand hugs the knee, right hand drops behind you. Tall, tall spine. And every time you inhale, just feel your body lengthen to the ceiling. Soften your shoulders, turn the belly, the chest, the shoulders, and then the chin back to the right. Deep, smooth breaths here, elongating the spine every inhale, sinking into the exhales. And slowly when you release, chin first, shoulder second, coming out of it, letting that right leg sweep back behind you. Roll onto your palms, curl the back toes, downward dog. Paddle the heels out, sway the hips. Notice the movement that you're getting in those hip sockets. Beautiful. Open your feet wide to the outer edges of your mat. Bend those knees, push your bum back behind you, and then start to straighten the legs, pushing the heels towards the floor without bending your back. Breathe. Nice work. Gaze to the thumbs, knees bend, feet walk forward, flatten your back, fold down. Inhale, hands come all the way up to the sky and drop them down to your heart. Nice work. Taking a step. Actually, just keep your feet together. Keep your feet together. Um, letting your back slide down that imaginary wall, bending the knees, um, zipping up the inner thighs, zipping up the inner legs. Yeah, shoulders roll down the back, hands reach up in front of you. Let the tailbone and hips feel heavy to the floor as the arms stretch either forward or up. Going in whatever direction suits you, squeeze the thighs, soften the feet. Drop the hips and let the low back lengthen to the floor. Breathe. Breathe. Beautiful, one more breath. Hands come all the way up to the sky, deep forward fold. Press into the shins, long flat back. Nice. From this position, let's take a twist. Right hand to left leg, left hand to low back. Open the chest. Nice work. Hands come back down. Left hand to right leg, right hand to low back. Open the chest. Sweet. Fingers drop back down to the floor. Bend your knees. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your hands, long flat back. Plant them and step to plank. Reach the body forward and we'll drop down for our cobras. Elbows squeeze by the side body. Plant the body. Uncurl the toes. Shoulders reach down the back. Hands are light. Cobra pose. And release. Peeling the chest, maybe the toes off the floor. Letting the hands be really light. You can also change your hands. You can take them out beside you, dropping them um, down by your hips or opening them wide like airplane wings, using the contraction of your back body to pull you up. And then lower you back down onto the floor. Yeah, nice work. 
sweet. Hands plant, back toes curl, press to hands and knees. You can sink back to your child's pose here, or you can do a sun salutation, okay? So it's child's pose if you want a bit of a break. Sun salutation, we're gonna go to downward dog, bend our knees, jump or walk to your hands, tabletop, fold. Inhale, hands to sky. Exhale, deep forward fold. Inhale, tabletop. Plant hands, move to plank. Lower your body to chaturanga, choosing if you're gonna do that cobra again or sweeping forward to an upward facing dog. Back toes curl under. Downward dog or child's pose. Five more breaths. Bending into your knees, bringing the feet forward. Tabletop the back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, hands to sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Okay, options. I wanna do three sun salutations. Go as slowly as you need to, or you can rest back doing a partial sun salutation in child's pose. I'll make mine easy, medium, hard. You do what you need to do, okay? Inhale, hands all the way to sky. Exhale, deep forward fold. Inhale, long flat back. Plant your hands. Move to plank, drop your knees, soften your body to the floor. Nice, inhale to cobra, exhale to release. Back toes curl under, press to a child's pose, downward dog if you're going bigger. Good, lifting back up, bringing the feet to the hands, tabletop, fold down. Inhale, hands to sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Big breath in again. Long forward fold. Nice flat back. Exhale, plant your hands and step to plank. Choose if you're lowering from knees. Let your body come all the way down. Choose if you want to sweep through a cobra, maybe letting the hips plant. Knees and thighs be relaxed to the floor. Back toes curl under. You can stretch to a child's pose or a downward dog. Breathe. Gaze forward to your thumbs. Bend your knees, choosing to let the feet come to hands. Flatten the back, fold down. Inhale, hands to sky, hands to heart to follow. Close that one off. Begin again, inhale up, exhale, fold. Long flat back, plant the hands. Remember, do whatever version you like. This is the hard one, legs stay straight, elbows bend lightly, the body hovers over the mat and push off the toes, sweeping the chest through, shoulders draw down the back, upward dog, curl the toes to downward dog. Paddle your heels. Nice work. And then gaze forward at the thumbs, knees bend, let feet walk to hands. Flatten the back, fold down. Inhale, hands to sky. Exhale, hands to heart. And for just a moment, feel this, okay? Feel the beating heart, the movement of prana in the body. The feet soft, hip width apart into the floor, the legs strong. Maybe there's still a micro bend in those knees, reminding the legs how strong they are. Huge full breaths. Notice, lots of us are breathing through our mouth now. So can you shift it to nose breathing? Good work. Last five minutes down on the mat. 
Inhale our hands to sky. Exhale, deep forward fold. Tabletop the back. Deep knee bend, hands plant, step to downward dog or plank, or hands and knees. Two breaths. Let feet sweep over to one side, roll back onto your bum, legs straight out in front of you. Lift the toes up to the ceiling, roll the shoulders, sit with a tall spine. Hands drop down by hips, Dandasana pose. Hands come all the way up to the ceiling. Exhale, reach down towards those toes. Nice, inhale up, hands come down. Good, right knee pulls in and we open it out to the side, okay? Left, oh sorry, that's my left knee. <laughs> Left knee pulls in, opens up to the side. My left hand, so as long as you use the same hand and same knee, goes back behind me. I'm going to push into the extended heel, into the bent knee shin, and lift up and over. Beautiful arced side body. Breathe. Nice big stretch as you push the rib cage up to the sky. Soften down. Hands plant. Choose to go to the other leg. So I'm bending in my right now, opening it to the side. My right hand sweeps back behind me. Right shin, right hand, press into floor, left heel. Grounds down, reach into that side body. Open it up to the sky. Long stretch, pressing those ribs high. Beautiful. And soften all the way down. Soles of your feet come together. Hang on to the toes or the shins or the ankles. Press knees out and away from you. Roll shoulders down the back. Lift chest forward. Relax chin. Breathe. Anchoring the thighs towards the floor. Breathe. Good work, release. Knees can close, roll down onto your back. Okay, so whatever Shavasana your body wants now. Can you take 10 breaths in Shavasana? Closing your mouth, allowing air to come in and out through your nose using your um, intentional exhales to just slow and soothe the body, reaching the breath into whatever corners still need it. Tapping into the movement of prana, sensing the current of energy moving through your body Choosing right now, if this is a really good jumping off point for you to go into meditation, for you to just reach over, turn off your computer and allow yourself to sink into a longer, more um, complete Shavasana entering meditation. Alternately, if there's plans in your day, Coming up next, you can begin to let movement come back in. Knees to chest, perhaps wiggling toes and fingers, rolling on the back body, choosing how you come to seated. Ha. Ah. Short and quick, taking our practice down to 15 minutes feels different, but it's good. Namaste, everyone.
Thanks for being here with me today.